Good morning, Giants. Today is Wednesday, November 3rd. And here we have our flag salute, so please stand for that. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. For lunch today, it looks like we're having pork patty with potatoes and gravy, sliced apple, wheat roll, and your choice of milk. Also, today's weather forecast looks like it's going to be about 66 degrees with 72% humidity, and it's going to be a little sunny out there as well. Last but not least, we have our tip of the week dealing with bus lines. You know, sometimes you forget that your microphone quality isn't good, so you have to make a weird voiceover. Anyway, um, the bus line. It's, uh, we're working on it. We're, 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 we're getting there. But um, this video is to help us with some tips on good ways of being in the bus line and maybe not so good ways of being in the bus line. And this is a personal note for myself. Note to self, please get a better microphone next time. A good idea when exiting classrooms is to line up in an orderly fashion. See how these students are lining up nicely. Wow, look at them go. That's, that's really good. I really like that. Yeah. Trying to shove through a door all at once is complete chaos. That, that looks like someone's probably going to get really hurt. Socializing politely with one another in the bus line is a wonderful thing to do. Getting in fights is a terrible idea. That's how you go straight to jail or worse. Well, that was awkward. Anyway, speaking of awkward, there are reasons why we follow these rules for the bus line. Because if we don't, well, bad things could happen. And hopefully they don't.